Honda Accord starts out as a roll of steel that comes in. It goes through our blanking process, which is the materials that cut out to a certain shape. It then goes into our press through a four die stage press. We have a draw die, a trim die, a pierce die, and a final bend die. As those parts come out, we have associates on the back of the line that we utilize to check and inspect the parts for flaws and defects. Truly unique to Honda is we're one of the few plants that has a servo press in the United States that allows us to produce a better product at a higher speed. Here in the Formi Plastic Department, we make all the Honda Accord bumpers, the boomerangs, and the dashboards are made here in the Formi Department. We have five different machines that we run. On number five, we have the rears. On number seven, which we're at right now, we run the front. And then you got number eight, you run the front bumper again, and then you run on number one, the IPs, which is the instrument panels. And on number 11, you run the rear low grade. So you have two different Accord bumpers that you're running for the rears. Those are the parts that you're running through here. We have a little pellets that we're loading from the silo in the back which comes through the tubes and full feeds up into the conveyor. You have your mold, which is set here and form the parts and makes the parts. After forming, the new accord goes into our welding department. Our welding department has over 900 robots. Within those robots, we have handling robots, we have sealing robots, and we have welding robots. Those robots are within five areas within inside our department. We have over 800 associates here and over 800,000 square feet within inside our department. So it progresses from our first zone, which does our inner frame, which is new for this accord. It is like the bones within inside the cabin. From that, it goes into our next area, which applies the skin. From there it goes into our small parts, doors are installed, and then it goes through our finishing where adjustments are made before it gets shipped off to the paint department. We had started three new innovative areas this year. This is the inner frame, which is the area that we're in now, and also our roof braze area. Now with inside our roof braze area, we are the only Honda plant that does the sunroof model in a braze, which increases the quality and appearance of that roof. We also have another innovative, which is called our high performance adhesive, which is, adds to the rigidity of the body. So those are the three new additions to this new Accord. After we finish the welding, it's off to our paint department so they can apply all the new colors. After it goes through paint and assembly, we also have a team that is our final adjust area out past assembly, which does our final inspection before it goes to our customer. When the Accord comes in from out of weld shop, we basically have several processes we go through. We go through a cleaning process where we go through dip tank series. We have a ED process, which is our electric coat, rust preventative coating. We send through sealer line where we seal the body and uh, make it waterproof. We then go through an inspection process before we go into the painting booth. At that point, we prime, we base coat, and we clear coat the body. After it comes out of the oven, we do an inspection process. We put a black wax and an under wax into the cavities of the car. Uh, we put a beta foam in for sound deadening, and we ship the cars to AF. Once AF receives those, they take the doors off for an offline door process, which would later get married back up to the car after assembly. Once we bring uh, the Accords over from Weld Shop, it'll take an average of about eight and a half to nine hours. With the introduction of our new line, we have something that's unique to the auto industry uh, which is our 2K primer. It's actually a two-part primer process. We have a resin and a catalyst that get mixed before they get applied to the car body. So this is brand new technology for our industry. We also have an auto inspect booth where we have robot mounted inspection that comes out and inspects the car. Then that feeds back to the associates where defects are for the inspection process. So both of those are very unique to the auto industry. After the Accord leaves paint, it goes into what you call AF on, and that's where all your interior parts get put on the car, like wiring tubing, your HVAC, 
your carpets, like where we're standing at right now, all the, all the body parts gets put on. Well, after the car hits down this body line, it'll approach toward bumper install, then it goes to engine mount. The uniqueness of it is these processes are designed for the average person to do, and they do a lot of careful studying on process timing, where each unit gets a certain amount of time to do a process, and, and it's on an average associate. And I think that's the unique thing about it. When a person comes here and works at Honda, with, that, with the correct training, anyone can do this process. So the next step for the new Honda Accord is engine mount and rear suspension mount. AF on, they will send out a car that's got a VIN number stamped in the body. Once AF on receives that information, they'll print out a build sheet. That build sheet gets applied to the carrier so that every car, we know what, what parts go on every car. That's got a model type. Back at engine rack, they will assign that engine with that model type to that build sheet and then Subassembly will build that engine and it'll come out here to engine mount and that's where we'll mount it to the body. As you can see behind me, very critical part of the process for the rear suspension and the engine to line up, mount to the body as the equipment shoots it. We're coming to the end of the assembly line, the new Honda Accord. The tires have been installed. Behind me, you're gonna see the front and rear glass installed into the car. This is all new glass equipment that was installed. It's only about two years old. It's completely automated. When the glass comes down, the robots will pick it up off the carrier. It will take it down, set it on a conveyor. It'll be sealed. From there, it slides down to the robot, picks it up. They take it to the car. Um, there are cameras that line that glass up so for a correct fit, and then the robots will apply the glass to the body. We do checks every two hours to confirm our sealers good, that our sealer bead is correct, and everything's checked for the high quality in this glass install equipment. After we install the windshields, we'll go down and start installing interior parts. Front and rear seats will be installed, steering wheels, we install the front and rear doors. That's winding up the assembly, then we go into more inspection. This is the last step for the new Honda Accord. These units go through the paint area, they paint the doors, then they remove them from drop lift. Drop lift sends the doors down the door line where they assemble the door. They install the liner, the door handles, the mirrors, the chrome, and this area right here is installed. And this is where we install all four doors for the new Honda Accord unit. Our Accord has been assembled and now we are ready for vehicle quality inspection. Vehicle quality inspection is a human inspection along with a computer LET, which stands for line-in tester, and it's gonna perform around a 200 check item list while we're driving the car through our department. First thing the car goes through is what we call mass calibration. That sets up the radars and the cameras in our car for the new technology cars that Honda put out this model year. Next, after the car leaves the mass station, it'll go down through our exterior and lock function check. They're checking gaps on doors, they're checking closing force of your trunks, your bonnets, your closing force of your doors, your child locks, your seat belt safety latches. After the car goes from there, the car will go into our dyno area. Our dyno will set the front and rear alignment for the car. You can now see the mirrors. So I'm checking lights, flashing lights and make sure like the lights themselves work. So then turn signals, make sure those all work. The car will then go over top of a dynamometer where we'll ride it up to 70 mile an hour. Mash it down to the floor and just get it rolling. So I got that. that beat, so that, that one's cleared, the computer, now we got it. coast down there without break. So I set this VSA button, now it's flashing, so I can't touch nothing other than the steering wheel and it's gonna set all the VSA, which is Vehicle Stability Assist. So as I go in reverse, I'm checking brake lights, reverse lights. Check a lot of the features as far as cruise control uh, to get ready to take the car outside through a shower tester booth. It puts uh, 185 gallons of water a minute on the car. And when we drop it off, you'll see that they check that. So here's the speaker test. Placed in the car in assembly, is little cardboard strips in the low-lying points of the car. Anything that would leak, the water would end up on that cardboard strip. Then when we 
pull out, I check the spray of the windshield washer fluid. And this checks all that too. It's also why we're outside, we go down a squeak and rattle track that's specifically designed to bring out different rattles in our cars, suspension rattles, interior cabin rattles, uh, anything that the driver might come across. This is what's called body twist. Some some of the uh, cars will hear it, but this meant for like suspension parts. Here's analog brakes. We have a booth that's designed to actually recreate that track out there, and that track will recreate that noise and allow us to find the noise. And then of course, it's always a matter of checking the 10 cars before that car and the 10 cars behind that car so we can guarantee our quality and then back into another final inspection area before the car is taken to pre-ship.